Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Europa Universalis 4, Muscovite Expansion. Sorry for that uh, bit of noise at the, at the beginning of the episode there. I had to bring down the mic. Okay. So, now that we have money, we can build armories, which I'm loving. Ugh, oh, man, those armies look sexy. Well, not really, but, hmm. And I guess while we're at it, we can get some morale of armies. We have the money to pay for these guys, don't we? Um. Uh, and we're almost done integrating. We should be. We should bring up a... Bring it up, please. There it is. So, we lose three... Instead of administrative, so. Wait, what? Estimated to be done. So. Mm. So, is this not gonna tick now? So. Okay, so. I can't have. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Um, we can afford this, so let's combine you over there. Actually, let's send you over here for the one. Um, this is not going to take any more then? I would like to know. Because I would change this. Actually, I can't. Can I? So, it's not changing, is it? So, I guess I'm going to have. You have to have stuff in favor of you, and you can't have, like, stuff against you. Um. Let's do this. Let's, uh. Let's. Like. Also, I guess that's just a new feature, so you don't have to go back. It's just for less managing stuff. Hopefully it goes for the top one. This is kind of weird that <laughs> you think they'll be on the same plane, but they're not. Like, one goes above the other. Hmm. Okay. Uh. So, is it really not gonna tick? That's gonna be... Annoying. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh. We should be able to destroy this. There we go. And now we want to go back to Muscovy. Muscovy. And also, we're going to want to build more of these awesome buildings. So, let's build them in the places where they're going to be most important. Um, I really have no idea what to do with this. Uh... Like, I don't, mm. Did think about, mm. So when does Annex, this thing goes away? It goes away in nine years. That is, that is harsh. Um. What do I get from this mission? Succeeding in this mission again? Um, I see. 10 prestige, really not. Really not the best, but. Let's do it here. Let's see who gets there first. Let's just let's have him go there. Um, planning our attack on not guard when they finally have troops too. Um, what I find, I don't. So that means I need to find reputation. Reputation. <laughs> reputation from somewhere which I guess that's interesting the way they're doing it but that means if you annex one guy you're done <laughs> like you can't like continuously annex guys but you know I don't like but they it's I get I don't maybe I don't even know I mean I don't know I was like hey let's plus it not the pay points now it means like I'm not gonna be advancing at all um 
gain prestige. Yeah. Um, that's hmm. So this is just gonna stay at here. Uh. Oh, we can now uh integrate uh or have a chance to. I guess that was probably always a chance of happening. Though, I guess Lithuania declaring war on the Teutonic Order. Oh, we could finally go for an idea that colonists though. Um, may never actually get to use it until 19, not even after 1692, after 16. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, we still have money so we could build more of uh, these armories. And Mere. Armories. I want to build armories in the places where it has the highest, of course. Here we go. Build all these armies, get all this man power. Really is necessary <laughs> with what I'm trying to do at least. Wallachia. Uh, all of us like, you're gonna become a vassal, you're gonna pay your vassal uh, money to me, and then you're gonna pay reparations on top of that for like 10 years. <laughs> like, jeez. Man, that is like harsh. Um, damn. I think it's like talk about rep war reparations. I think is only now that Germany, or recently Germany. Well, when I say recently, I mean like somewhat recently. Germany has just finished paying off their war reparations for World War One. Like that just tells you, like, damn. It's just, it's like, damn. Like there's nothing else to say for just damn. Really? Damn. Like, damn. Also, is there any guy no reparation? Reparation. Reputation guy? No, there's not, so. It's kind of sad. Um. Uh. The 18th of April, so that's when I could go ham on those guys. I'm kind of sad, because I really want this annexation to continue, but it's not going to until I lose that effect. Which is. I mean. I don't even know. I don't know what to think of it. It's it seem it seems I guess somewhat reasonable. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Freak me. I I just wanna build my armories and take over Novgrad so I could achieve this mission. Um Oh man. Our our max is not thirty five thousand. Ooh. Ooh. Awesome. Awesomeness. I love how you can't see the star. Like, there's a general here, but like the star is not showing up when I click away, which kind of defeats the purpose of having the star there, doesn't it? I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna question. Don't. Not even gonna question. Anybody mad? Only this, and that's because he's still a bit mad that I just recently took. Come away from Kazan. He'll get over it. He'll stop being butthurt in a few, a few seconds. So, Burgundy and the Peasants' War. So that means that could now come for me, um, which I really don't want it to come for me. <laughs> I really don't want it to come for me. So, <laughs> just so don't happen to me. <laughs> that that is what I'm stating. I'm stating that aloud. Uh, I did pause. I meant to go here and build more of these. Build that one there. Our troops are poised on Novgorod's border to sweep in. And I haven't started annexing you. <laughs> He's really mad. He's like, oh, you annexed a vassal, did you next? Like, did you not expect this ha to come to happen? Oh. Oh. Okay. So we have a succession pri pri prices. A Pius, uh, where's the Sue sort of? So does uh, let's just. I mean, it's just gonna be six, right? So I don't, I don't, I just want you to move out of the way. Um. Um. Let's hopefully get there in time. Uh. You, when can I declare one you? 
the 18th. So the 18th, no matter what. I really, I'm breaking a truce. How is that freaking the? It's it's pass. The, really? Uh, the 18th of April, 1462. I'm pretty sure that there it is. <laughs> like. Took it a freaking while, eh? Uh, my bad. Uh, so now we need a war match with. We have a war match just with people right still. So. Um, we want a few. We want a war match with you. Alright. So does this mean. I mean, oh, we're getting 10 in Diplo. Uh, no, that's no, that's not even freaking better. <laughs> wow. Let's go there. Uh, let's go here. Um, and we could build even more armories, which I'm happy about. Very happy, very happy. I want them in all of my provinces. Let's do that. Oh, oh, there we go. So we have one, two, three, four, and five more provinces to build these suckers in. The 29th, the third. You think you could get there in time? Oh, there it is. So, can I dispatch a siege? So, boom. Boom. Uh... Let's go. I forgot all about him, so not even. Let's go. Uh oh. Can we retreat? I think this was two infantry, so I'm not really upset about this. Two infantry. Two thousand infantry. Two thousand infantry. Uh hopefully we're sieging this. Yeah, we are. Let's see, 21st, hopefully we don't lose this, pull this one out, pull this out, we, we have Sweden helping, even though we were, we were gonna fuck, that, we were gonna really fuck that battle up, <laughs> we were, like, we, we were, that was gonna be really fucked up, <laughs> if I like to admit it or not, it was, but, let's go destroy them while they are down, okay, there it is, Okay, let's move over here, and let's, uh, let's, yo, let's not attach this unit, please. Think with your own mind, Charmy, you, don't attach. Like, that's bad idea, especially in winter, winter, winter Russia, Russian winter, jeez, English goes away from me sometimes, <laughs> it takes a bit of a, br a brief, jeez. Vacation? Holy crap, English. English really don't be on my side. Hey, we got a 044. That's not bad. I ain't even mad. That's, that's better than nothing. Okay, let's. Now, of course, I'm gonna go for 100% annexation. If you were wondering, it's a necessity. Um, this hasn't changed at all. I guess it's not going to. Nothing I can really do about that. That about that. Oh wow, this is the first time where we don't have enough money to actually build the thing. Like right after. Oh, Royal Magic Free is on. Went away. Goes on. Oh, you're still you're still a vassal of the Golden Herd though, so really you Uh let me let me the truth out. You's gotta be kidding me. Um, ten attrition. My troops are just going there to be like, uh, bye. Like, look at the, um, what? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand the AI's thinking, like, I'm gonna pile on as many troops here. I mean, like, I can assault it. <laughs> 28,000 infantry versus 1,000? Well, I'm, I don't want to risk it. I'm pretty sure I can assault that and be safe. Alright. 
I'm not gonna salt it. No, I'm not. That's lun. That would be lunacy. <laughs> okay, it won't be. What did they broke this province up? Damn! I didn't even notice. I, I thought it was just changes to. You know the other parts of the world. I didn't think they made any changes over here. It doesn't seem like they made lots of changes. Oh, whoa, oh, well, no, no, no. They changed Spain. They, I guess this is so that Spain at least has some more. Because usually, you know, Spain is supposed to be equal to France, you know, in the war type of deal. I mean, I guess, historically. And usually in the game, that doesn't happen. France walks over Castile. So, I may want to do Castile. I mean, on my moon. May want to do. <clears throat> Whoops. Sorry. Castile in a later campaign. Um. Man. That's some change. I didn't even notice that. And it's just. And it's just Castile. Like, it didn't add any provinces to Aragon. No. Anything else in Italy? Man. This is why I should have looked around the map before. Uh. England? They, they, come on, that's, that. give England some love, man. Give England some love. Babies love love. Oh, baby, I said babies love, I mean baby, what is love? Oh, wow, they did, mm, man, okay, I'm quite excited now. I am excited. Um, hopefully these sieges go a bit quicker. Oh, there's, go. there's, whoops, pause, there's not good. Okay, yeah, you could stand on that province and attrition forever and ever and ever. He put 33,000 troops on that one province. That is ridiculous. Okay, okay, it's good. So now I want you to realize 4% and full percent uh, annexation is necessary and it's being done. Okay. There we go, we subjugated Novgorod. Uh, form, no. Into. Oh, wow, he integrated them. Okay, I'll do it. I did it. I'll save the Russian people. Um. Um. Put this. I want to I wanna even spread. No, I think that's already mine. I think this one's not mine. And we're gonna wanna core this stuff. So, boom, boom. And that one's a lot. Damn. So, there we go. And he left the coalition clearly because there's no way in hell. He's got the balls. Or he's got the punk. Um. I'm not even gonna try it. I'm gonna just take you by force. And I also. Wiping out my country does not automatically put me over 50. That's kind of upsetting. Wiping out a rival. I can't even pick another rival. Negative three? Jesus. Seriously, have mercy. Uh. Nah, I'm not going to but actually, yeah. I, I, mm. Yeah, it's just a demo. Mm, don't even know. Okay, we're going to just put troops on all these provinces, make sure everything's fine and dandy. He's kind of standoffish to me. Sorry that you're still under your, your. I was about to say under your bitch. Uh, oh wow, Poland's gotten gotten his stuff together. At least, man, they split that up into two provinces. Wow, they did a lot. I didn't even notice this stuff over here. Man, like actually being in a game and seeing it from the perspective of a uh, dev diary is much different. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode of Europa Universalis 4, uh, Muscovite Expansion. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode, guys.